Okay, in this video, we're going to install Django and create our project. But before we do that, I should mention, in the last video we started, we activated our virtual environment. If you ever want to turn it off, you just type in deactivate. And when we do, we see this VENV thing disappears, no longer there. So uh, let's go ahead and activate it back again. And I'm just pushing up on my uh, keyboard, and that scrolls through the, the last few commands you type, so we don't have to type this out again. Source VENV scripts activate. So I'm going to go ahead and activate that. Okay. So again, if we pip freeze here, we see there's nothing in here. So now we need to install Django and it's super easy. We just go pip install Django. Now this will install the latest version of Django. I mentioned a couple of videos ago, a good thing about virtual environments is we can install different versions of Django. So if we wanted to do that, all you would do is type in equal equal and then, you know, whatever version you want to actually install, right? So we just want to install the most current version. So go ahead and hit enter and do that. And you can see it's downloading this thing. So it takes a couple of seconds, usually half a minute or so. So we'll let it do its thing here. And you can see it's installing PyTZ, which is a Python time zone file, SQL parse, which is a database thing, and Django. And okay, it looks like everything's done. Now we can pip freeze again. And we can see now we've got Django 2.2.5. If you if, it, if it's a different version by the time you watch this, no big deal, as long as it's not like three. Uh, PyTZ and the SQL parse thing. So, okay, cool. So now we want to create our new project. So to do that, we type in Django-admin.py, start project, and then just name the project. Let's call this weather. Now, you notice I typed in Django admin dot pi. Sometimes some computers throw an error when you do that. I've never been able to figure out why. If you get an error when you type in this command, just leave off the dot pi. Just type in Django admin start project weather and that should work. So now if we type in ls to see, we've got this new weather directory. So let's change into that directory cd weather. And now if we ls here, we see this manage.py file and we see this weather directory. So this is always where we want to be when we're doing Django stuff. We want to be in the directory that has the manage.py file. And this file, uh, this file does, we use it a lot to run Django commands. So uh, you'll see this a lot going forward. There's nothing in this file that is particularly interesting. We just use it to run Django commands. And you'll see what I mean in just a minute. In fact, let's just go ahead and run our first Django command. So to do that, we type in Python manage.py. It's so always python manage.py and then the command. And the command we want is run server. And this will run the little Django server that allows us to run our project in a web browser. And you can see watching for file changes with whatever, that means that the, the server is up and running. So we can switch back to our web browser and go to localhost colon 8000. And 8000 is the port that this server is running on. And if everything went correctly, we'll see this sort of uh, default Django page with a little rocket ship that's shaking around. And uh, if you see this page, congratulations, you've got your very first Django project up and running. It's working. Everything was installed correctly and we're good to go. So next, really quickly, let's head over to Sublime and click on project and then add folder to project. And you just want to navigate to that C directory and then find the directory where we created our project. It was Django weather. So double click that and then single click weather. This is the folder that now holds our actual project and click the select folder button. And when you do bop, 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 all these files pop up here. And uh, this is cool. Now this is where we're going to be working throughout the rest of this course in this text editor. So if you see this other weather directory that we saw in the terminal, if we click it, there's all these files, settings.py, urls.py, this wsgi.py. Here's our manage.py file. Remember, there's not much in here, but we won't ever do anything in this file. But like I said, we use it to run commands. And you notice if we want to open a file, we just click on it. It pops back, pops right up and we can close it just like that. So very cool. So, all right, we're good to go. We've got everything installed that we need. We've got Django running. We've got a virtual environment. We've got our default web page working. Everything's looking good. We've got all of our files here in Sublime Text and we're ready to sort of get started and really actually start doing stuff with our project. So in the next video, I think we'll look at the administration area really quickly and then move on from there.